Teledata One, the Italian touch to fire safety technologies. Zones are used to generate partitions of your system. To program a zone, you still need to log in as an engineer with a default password 5 times 3, go to configure menu, device zones, up to zone menu. You have the possibility to add, modify, and delete a zone. By adding a zone, you have the possibility to link to this zone some devices. To make it quicker, you can link an entire, all the entire system if, you, if it was necessary, or you can link the entire loop. Of course, by selecting the entire system, the panel will select all the loops that you have in your panel. In this case, we only have one loop. Otherwise, if you wanted to generate a zone more flexible, you have the possibility to click on the device, choose the loop that you want, and you can link the single device to the zone if necessary. If you don't want to link some devices just by clicking on to them, you can add them or remove them from the zone itself. For example, I can make a zone with only detectors inside. By clicking on to output modules, I am going to add uh, the output modules that this zone will activate in case of alarm of the detectors. By clicking here, I have the possibility to choose the outputs that this device is going that this zone is going to um, activate. This button next to the address of this device is a silenceable yes or no. What does it mean? It means that in case of alarm uh, of this zone, this siren will ring, of course. But if it's not silenceable, I have no possibility to turn off this siren even if I press silence on my display. The only way to turn off this output will be to reset the panel. Instead, by putting silenceable yes, if I insert my user password uh, in case of alarm and press silence, that si output will be silenced. I have also other parameters that I can set onto a zone. For example, I can give a name to a zone. So I can give it, for example, first floor or second floor, whatever. I can do an out exclusion of the zone itself, depending onto a calendar. I can even program some which events will create the alarm of this zone. For default, it's usually alarm. Uh, I have even a possibility to, to set fault. Um, I can set the coincidence for each one of these um, type of events. You know, usually, a zone is usually used for fire. So if I click on to uh, alarm, yes, coincidence will come out. And what is the coincidence? The coincidence is the quantity of alarms that I need to turn on and activate this zone. So coincidence one means that of these detectors that I have selected, I need only one of them to activate my zone. If I select uh, coincidence 2, I need two of these devices in alarm to activate my zone. So what you could do is, for example, have a zone that is only alarm, or a zone that is only for fault, or whatever you can, you can do is a zone that has got, for example, coincidence 2, where, um, in this case, you need two alarms of these detectors to activate the same output.